action required for all token holders. You must complete migration if you want to keep any from any PancakeSwap LP tokens and PancakeSwap farms. All LPs will be migrated to a new upgraded contract over several hours starting from now. So this is the message whenever you visit PancakeSwap.finance now. Um, if you are staked directly in farms um, on PancakeSwap, then it's not a problem. It's not a big deal to switch over to the new version. Okay, but if you are staked somewhere else, then it may be a bit of a challenge. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to with, withdraw your LP tokens from other farms and optimizers using Biffy Finance as an example and migrate to the new version 2 and then stick them back in these optimizers. Hello and welcome to the crypto mario channel if you are new here please like and subscribe to this channel we usually post very useful crypto content so let's get into today's video some days ago on the 23rd of this month um, pancake swap migrated from the version 1 to version 2 you could go to the uh, announcement page twitter or medium to find out why they decided to do this i'll, I'll leave a link in the description Okay, that takes you to your medium page and an article that explains why this was done. So, now to migration. If you click on migrate now, remember um, this is the trust wallet and this is the DAP browser in the trust wallet and your network has to be on the smart chain for you to access this. So first, um, Pancake Swap has been upgraded, as I mentioned earlier. Migrate your LP tokens to continue earning. So you could go to farms if you staked directly on Pancake Swap. Finance. You could go to farms and get your LP tokens out. But if in my case you staked somewhere else, then you want to click on suggested projects. Okay, so. As it stands, these are all the different projects that currently use Pancake Swap LP tokens. Okay, as you can see, there's A Crypto S, Auto Farm, Alpha Homura, Apaka Finance, Bfi, Burn, Bern, Cream Finance, Harvest, Jetfuel, Pancake Bunny, and Value Divide. For today's example, we'll be using Bfi. Okay, so we'll just click on that. So this is beefyfinance.finance. In case you don't know this site, it's one of the best yield aggregators out there. Um, what makes it different from PancakeSwap farms? Well, if you stake in PancakeSwap farms, what you get as your rewards are um, cake tokens, okay? But if you stake here, you get LP tokens as your rewards. They make this possible by um, taking your LP tokens Staking them on PancakeSwap dot finance for you, and when they end cake tokens, they sell off the cake tokens to buy more LP tokens for you. So if you stake here, what happens is that your LP tokens begin to grow instead of having cake rewards. So just note that. As you can see, they are already telling me that this LP, this um, what's it called, this vote has expired. Okay, as retired, so I have to get my LP tokens out. So I'm going to click on it and then um, go scroll down and click on withdraw all. Okay. After that, I just have to approve and, uh, oh no. and 
I'll be able to get out my LP tokens. So we withdraw success. We've successfully withdrawn our LP tokens. So we go back to Pancake Swap, and we um, migrate our tokens from the old Pancake Swap or V1 as it's called to V2. So if I scroll down here, okay. It is loading my V1 LP tokens that are in my wallet. Okay. So let's just give it some time and voila, it has appeared. So what I need to do now is to remove this by clicking on remove uh, max so that everything gets removed. Approve. then remove confirm approve again so i just have to look here once this changes to zero it means the lp tokens have been successfully removed voila so I head over to V2, as you can see at the bottom, there is V2 and there's V1 old. Okay, so I head over to V2. And here I click on liquidity. Okay, now add liquidity. The pair I was using was BNB, BA, AA. L B T okay. So I just have to wait a little bit for it to reflect here. Okay, so I do max up this and um I have to approve B L B T again because um it hasn't been approved on V2 before. Now, mind you, I'm only doing this because I plan to continue um, get. I plan to continue supplying my tokens for this liquidity pool. If you want to withdraw totally and not supply again, it's fine. Okay, but I'm only doing this because I want to keep supplying to this LP. So having supplied, I just have to wait for this to change from zero as proof that the LP has been supplied. Yep, changed. So we have migrated from V1 to V2. Now we have to go back to bfifi.finance to um, supply, or should I say, um, deposit in the bfi.finance vault so in order for to save time and not search every single vote one by one i'm just going to select the asset one of the assets of my lps i'm not going to use bnb because there are so many votes using bnb here so i'll use the b-a-l-b-t and um as so I scroll down, I've seen it already. It's the only one. Okay. So I have to approve this again. Remember, um, this is version two. So it's like staking for the first time or depositing for the first time. So I have to approve again. Uh, 
and uh, give it some time. Beefy Finance is a very full site. <laughs> it's it's really full. So there's so much going on on the site. So sometimes some things take time. Okay, so I just click on deposit all, and. Um, We'll get the pop up soon. Approve again. And we'll get the final message telling us deposit has been successful. Remember, if you are not interested in migrating your LPs and, con and um, compounding them after migration, you could easily remove LPs and swap the tokens. Deposit success. So we are done. Okay. But this is for people that want to migrate their LP tokens from one, uh, from the V1 over to the V2. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and uh, leave me a comment. I usually answer within 24 hours if you have any questions on this video any of my videos just leave me a comment and i'll get back to you thank you so much for watching this is crypto mario let's keep getting those crypto coins